called a film editor. And that's the person who takes all the film from our film crews and turns it into the special magic we know as Wonderworld. Sheridan Jobbins reports. One. Actually, you see this? This is called a slate. And the reason we need one is because the sound recorders and the sound recording machine and the camera aren't connected. So you hit this, the sound machine hears it, and the camera sees it. Pretty clever, eh? So they can join them up later. Two, three, four, five, six. Just here? Seven. There's no number. Nine. A a a Eleven. So, the film and the sound come back on two unconnected rolls. You can see the slate on that one. You can hear it on that one. Six. And it's up to one of the editors to make them match up, and they cut off the bits that don't fix, and it's called synchronised, or sync. machine here right this is called an editing machine and if you look down there uh, that's where the film goes through and over there that's where the sound goes <laughs> you see that guy <laughs> he's the bottom ended editor who has to cut it all together so how much of it actually ends up on the, the cutting room floor well sherry the way you guys rave on most of it about 90 percent actually really how long does it take you to cut a wonderworld story well it varies a lot but the average is about uh four hours, sometimes it takes longer, sometimes shorter, depending on how much you give us. What is involved with actually cutting film? Well, you have a piece of film like this, and it's made up of a whole lot of still images which are just like colour slides yeah. and you can choose to cut between any one of those frames. So you can so, actually split them apart? Yeah, exactly. Oh. So you put it in the splicer, chop it off, like that. <laughs> That's great how you put it back <laughs> together. <laughs> With sticky tape. Are you kidding? No. no. For Special real. sticky tape? Yeah. It's very clear, it's very strong and it's it's a nice clean splice like oh, that. That's great. And then you can run it again. And you wear the gloves so you don't make fingerprints. That's right. Yeah. But what about that hand? <laughs> yeah. You hold it carefully with that hand. Um, this is the hand that you do most of the work on the film with, so you wear a glove on that. Uh -huh. So what qualities do you need to be an editor? Well, you need to be patient. You need to be able to see. You have to be happy sitting in a small room like this for hours after hour yeah. working. Yeah, you sort of live in a fantasy world of what's on the screen and what you're dealing with. You need to be organised, because you've got to have everything hung up where you can see it. And you've, you've got to have a good memory, so you know what you've got, what you're going to put together. Yeah. It's a bit like doing a giant jigsaw puzzle, it sure isn't it? Is, yeah, <laughs> or <exactly>. knitting, even. <laughs> <laughs> Weaving it in and out. And you know what? The editors are responsible for a lot of the tricks you see, like when people will vanish and reappear suddenly. <laughs> back again not again not again not that no <laughs> oh no please please don't run me back again not again not again not that <laughs> Hey, James, you can't do that to me. Oh, 